morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always told, out of voice radio, and I trim my beard. So today we are talking about, we are opening a box of Crimson Haze. We are going to zoom out a bit though, because we don't need it quite that far zoomed in. Uh, shout out to the lovely folks at Minotopia. This is a sponsored video today. The lovely folks at Minotopia. I'll pop a link in the description, of course. They went and sent us this box because they're nice people. And look, I've been telling you guys for a while. Oh, make sure you use the code PTCG Radio to save a little bit too. Use the code PTCG Radio. Yay! But I've been telling you guys for a while now that um. Japanese boxes are about as cheap and available as they've been in literally years. It's been a long time since Japanese boxes were as easy to get hold of as they are now. And a lot of people, therefore, are wanting to go and pick some up. And because they're so cheap and readily available now, honestly, for most people, the best answer really is pick them up from third-party resellers. Which means I get a lot of questions from people going, wassy, wassy, wassy. Which 30 third party reseller, where should I go to pick them up? And look, I'm a little bit biased because they sent the box to me. So, you know, take that with a pinch of salt and all. But Minotopia, they're cool dudes. They're nice people. And everything I've heard about their store, everything I've heard from people that have used them has been positive. So, use Minotopia. Tell them PTCG Radio sent you. And enjoy some Japanese boxes. So... This is the latest set, Crimson Haze, been out in Japan for a week and a bit now, a couple of weeks. Ah, starting off with T-Zero, Applin. Good start. Love me some more Lucha. Oh, Yukimori Froki, adore that card. And an Okacheke Cramorant. Look, I'm going to tell you what, right? There weren't any quote-unquote good cards in that pack. But between Okacheke Cramorant, Yukimori Froki, and T-Zero, Applin... Oh, what a trio of artwork. Wonderful, wonderful trio of artwork. So, we're going to open up the box. You know the deal from Japanese packs, by, Japanese boxes by now. If you've been following my channel, you are going to get yourself a... Uh, so, what do we get? What do we get? What are the hits like? Um, let's remind ourselves. Four EXs. Four of the six EXs in the set. You are going to get... Well, I'm going to get an ace spec. You will too if you pick up a box. And you will get yourself three illustration rares and one full art or above. A hit, so to speak. Hey, there's Enamorous. No one likes Enamorous. I do really like the art on that stadium, but then I feel a bit bad because, of course, Kato has been doing the stadiums and they've been doing such a good job for so long. Seeing other people do stadiums honestly makes me a little bit sad. There's your Monferno. Love the art on that Snorlax. And a Chiyu to finish off. I do love opening Japanese boxes. For me, as I've said, my goal is to get one of every card in the set. Not including secret rares. I'm not rich. I do want all the Ace specs. I do want all the illustration rares. But after that, it gets a bit silly. Okay, what do we got? Glaceon. And I've been collecting pretty much from... Basically, from EV Heroes on, I'm missing... Actually, there's a bunch of singles I need to pick up. Most of them are like a dollar or two. They're very cheap. But there are a bunch of singles I need to pick up to complete my binders. Couple sets are full. Some sets aren't. I need to work on it. Uh, in terms of a spec, Unfair Stamp is the one you really want in this set. That is the most popular, the value, most valuable, the best one among them. A Sinister EX. Nice. And of course, this is a, a set which is very, very much themed after the teal mask. This is a full teal mask set. So you'll notice, you know, the state, um, you've got the caretaker and the stadium, of course. You know, the, these are all going to look very familiar. Oh, by the way, the um, you've lost secret rare in this pack or this box in this set. There we go. Is probably full art caretaker. Does anybody look at the art on that? Does anybody want to pull full art caretaker? The answer is no. Oh, and if anyone's wondering, yes, that is a Pokemon catcher reprint. Yeah, it is just a straight Pokemon catcher reprint. I don't know if I ever actually mentioned that in a video, so I mentioned it now, and we can all move on with our lives. Oh, there's your Hyaganasuke pincer. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, and a Zapdos to boot. 
Nice. So, in terms of my favourite artists in this set, Hygen Asuke did the pincer. And Okacheke has done the Cramorant that I showed you earlier. And the Diplin, the new evolution of Aplin that came around in the Teal Mask. One of them, they're a new Pokemon. Hey, and there's Perrin, who of course is one of the characters from the DLC. And I love this. I'm an absolute sucker. Like, I love the Pokemon games. Huge fan of the Pokemon games. When I was a kid, I used to think that I loved Pokemon. And I only really liked the card games because it was Pokemon. There's another T-Zero artwork. Beautiful. And it turns out, as I've got a bit older, I realised I actually love card games. And it turns out I love card games and I love Pokemon. And it turns out that the Pokemon TCG is just a melding together of, like, my two favourite things. And that's why I love it so much. Agira, Agawa, Nose Pass is stunning. So, um, oh. Oh, we got Iron Thorns EX. There are, well, if I thought it might be more Paradox Pokemon in this set. There aren't. We've got Iron Thorns EX and Screamtail EX. Those are the only two EXs. And then we've got Sinistar and Blood Moon Ursa Luna and Makago and Greninja as Terra. I believe they are the six EXs if my memory serves. Oh, there's a Hygon Asuke Pincer. Oh, the Ace Beck is in this pack. Is it gonna be unfair stamp? No. Um, oh, I do love the new design of the Ace Specs. That is, um, oh, the name is escaping me. The name is escaping me. It is Survival Cast. Uh, if anybody's wondering, nominally the cheapest of them. Now, um, oh no, actually, no, that's a lie. No, I'm lying to you. It's actually about 40 yen, which is approximately nothing better than Hyper Aroma. It's the one that gives you, basically, if you would be one hit KO'd, it puts you down to 10 HP remaining. But it only works if you would be one hit KO'd. So we're still waiting for two EXs. We're still waiting for three illustration rares. And we're still waiting for a hit of some description. And then after this, I'm going to go... Actually, no, I've got another box on the way, haven't I? Look at that lovely Arcanine or Sui and Arcanine. I do actually have a second box coming. My, my goal, like I say, is one of every card in the set. So what I really want is a second box, which I may or may not open on camera. We'll have to see. But my goal is essentially, between the two boxes, all six EXs. So you get four in each box. It's absolutely doable. Two different A specs, and then I'll have to just buy the third one. Hey, there's your Okacheke Diplin. Look how lovely that is. And then you got an enhanced hammer as well. Uh, and then, and this is a hard one, six different illustration rares. The best case scenario over two boxes is... And you often have to... Often, like, boxes will, like, be missing one of the hollows. So maybe I'll have to buy one hollow as well. But they're all, dirt, like, proper dirt cheap. Oh, that's one of the illustration rares we wanted. Oh, that is amazing. It's the one that Matt, it's by um, Ghidorah. And it matches up with the Perrin special illustration rare. Uh, this, Cramorant and Manaphy are, are my ideal free illustration rares. Although, like I've said, I'm going to end up picking up all of them, of course. It's going to happen. Uh, if anybody's wondering, that is by a bit of a margin, the... No, not actually that much. But it is still the best of the illustration rares. Blaziken is second. But even that's like a 400 yen card. It's, it's not expensive in the least. They never are. Like, no, the Magikarp is. Outside of the Magikarp, none of them are. And I pulled the Magikarp, so we're good. But yeah, best case scenario is you open two boxes. And then you've got all the EXs. All the commons, uncommons, and rares. Two of the three ace specs. What is the... Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, don't do this to me. Oh. Remember how like five minutes ago I was explaining that basically the worst secret rare pool possible is full art caretaker. And how you lose if what you pull from your box is full art caretaker. <sighs> yeah. That's what we got in our box. Full art caretaker. Um... For what it's worth, according to Card Rush, which is the site I use, Full Art Caretaker is actually a better pull than Full Art Sinister and Full Art Lucian. So it's only the third worst pull. But 
I just love that I, I did a whole... And you, like, you kind of knew that was happening, right? As soon as I told you... And there's no way... There's no way I could possibly have known that was coming out. But as soon as I told you that was the worst pull in the set... <laughs> Soon as I told you, it was inevitable. Uh, and there's your Infernape. Well, we have not done great in that regard. But never mind. Still a cool card. And like I say, I'm a sucker for any... I love when... Sorry, I think I went, drew one off on a tangent and never finished. I really love when sets... Oh, there's regular Caretaker. There you go, you can compare them. Uh, I love when sets, you know, really reflect the Pokemon games. I love looking at cards, hey, okay, okay, camera room, and seeing locations and characters from the game. That I really, really enjoy that. So having this being a real teal mask focus set, and look, I, I know not everyone thought the teal mask was amazing. I saw a lot of opinions that it was fine or not amazing. I loved it. I sat down. Actually, I played it on a train. Ooh, there is your poacher guy. There's a second illustration rare. Come on, give me the Manaphy. I want the Manaphy. Mostly because it's got Wailord on, but I still want the Manaphy. And I am... Um, yeah, I, I believe... I want to say Barcelona. I could be wrong. I was on the way to a Pokemon tournament anyway. And I... Ba oh, maybe it was... I don't know. I'll have to look up the dates. But the point is, it literally released on the Wednesday when I was heading to Barcelona. Uh, wherever it was. So, I put it on. And I just sat there and played the whole way. And funnily enough, I was about half an hour away from finishing the DLC when I arrived. And then I, I put it on on the plane on the way home. And I was like, oh, I literally had like 30 minutes left. But I had a great time playing it. Honestly, any time, like something like that. Because I travel a lot for, for Pokemon and such to go to events. Being able, you know, having a DLC or a game releasing about when I'm traveling is, is perfect for me. If I can play it on the Switch or Steam Deck, release it as I'm heading out, and then I can just sit there and play it on the train. Because I've got a five-hour train, then hanging around in the airport, then wherever the flight is to. Hey, there's your final illustration, Rare. It is hard to be upset. It is the EVs. It's a pile of EVs. Or a pile of EV, I should say. You don't pluralize Pokemon names. By Sato, and it is lovely. So we pulled our free illustration rares. We pulled our ace spec. We have pulled our... We pulled two EXs. So by my calculations, I believe that means we've got two EXs left. I have opened boxes in the past with five EXs. And I've opened boxes in the past with two hits, full arts or above. So could happen. Could pull up something else. How many packs we got? Uh, eight packs remaining, nine packs remaining, eight packs remaining, eight packs remaining. Let's see if we can pull something good. And then I can wait for my Pokemon doc, uh, my Pokemon Center order. I think I told you on a video the other day, I literally ordered from the Pokemon Center a box of Crimson Haze, a box of Cyber Judge, a box of Wild Force, and a box of Shiny Treasures EX. Maybe we'll do a big stream opening then. That could be fun. But yeah. That was, that was cool. I was enjoyed that. That was awesome. Um, hopefully get to do that again. So yeah, I was saying about buying two boxes and opening them up. Best case scenario is you basically get everything except you're missing three artwork rares and one ace spec. Oh, it's a Terror EX. It's Makago! Yay! So three EXs remaining. We haven't got Scream Terror. We haven't got Blood Moon Ursa Luna. And we haven't got Terra Greninja. One of those is coming. They don't double up, incidentally. They, they just don't. Now, the worst case scenario is you're still missing two EXs. You're still missing two A specs. You're still missing three illustration rares. Just like opening one box. Let's hope that doesn't happen. Oh, walking wake. And like I say, most boxes, a lot of the time when you open them, you're missing like one random hollow as well. But it is about time that I went through all my Japanese sets. Made a big list of all the regular cards I'm missing and put an order in. And then there's, there's some like, oh, it's Blood Moon Ursa Luna, which is fair. I mean, firstly, Blood Moon Ursa Luna is really good. It's four energy, five energy, 240, and can't attack next turn. But also, it's got an ability that brings down its attack cost by one colorless energy for each prize card your opponent's taken. 
So it is an attack that gets cheaper and cheaper as time goes by. But yeah, I do need to, to put in an order for some regular cards. And then also, there must be some set where all the full arts are cheap. Like all the full art Pokemon are cheap. So maybe I collect some full art Pokemon. Look at the Ting Lu. I love the art on that card. And a Lucky Helmet reprint to boot. So yeah, that's one of my goals. Just get complete Japanese sets. I would love to complete it, including everything. But I think like a lot of the a lot of the full arts are like a thousand yen or below, which is like I don't know, three, four quid. So in some smaller sets, I think it probably is doable to start picking up a bunch of these full arts and maybe do a few sets complete, including full arts. Uh, incidentally, we have now hit four EXs. We've hit an illustration with three illustration rares. We've hit an A spec. And we've had a hit. So from this final pack, we are not expecting anything. There is literally, you know, we, we've hit our quota of everything. But let's just have a look. Anyway. Also, I've got to be super careful buying Japanese packs. Nope. Nothing in there. Exactly as we suspected. So, how did we do on our box? Well, we did hit our four EXs. And we got the Blood Moon Ursa Luna, which is pretty cool. Uh, A-Spec, we didn't get the best one. Hit, as in full art or above, we definitely didn't do that great. But I am very happy with my illustration rares. That is a good trio. Didn't hit the Manaphy, which is a little bit sad. Because the Manaphy's got um, your Waylord on the artwork and all of that. But I can't be particularly upset about that now, can I? Nah. Uh, for what it's worth, I think regular EXs, Blood Moon Ursa Luna, is the most valuable but, but it's a 120 yen card. It's less than a dollar. So <laughs> I, I think it's going to be okay. Right. There we go. That was cool. One more shout out to the lovely folks over at Minotopia for providing the box. And like I say, picking up Japanese boxes is as cheap and easy as it's been in literally years. I would recommend if you're so inclined to start picking some up. It's a good time to do so. And like I say, Minotopia, I think a lovely dude to deserve your business. Use the code PTCG Radio. But for now, I want to know what you think about my box. Don't, don't look at the caretaker. Tell me if you've opened any Crimson Haze or if you're looking forward to Twilight Masquerade. Tell me anything you want to tell me in the comment section. Good nuts. Be nice. And then the usual deal. Comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio. Bye.